All right, everyone, welcome back. So I wanted to talk about something here that I've heard a little bit over the last couple of months. Why do fans stop watching hockey? So it's something that I've seen a lot over the last couple of months, and I think that it's definitely something that we need to talk about because the NHL, even though they're gaining fans every day, they're also losing fans every day. It pretty much all depends, but there's a lot of reasons why some fans may stop watching hockey. I would say... Just starting off, the biggest one is that their team is bad. And that really should not surprise anyone. Um, I honestly experienced that too. Um, I am a bona fide hockey fan. I have been a hockey fan for years. It's my favorite sport to watch. I will not watch any other sport besides the sport of hockey. The issue is, is that when my teams are bad, and my teams have been bad, I've been a Philadelphia Flyers fan and an Arizona Coyotes fan. So the last couple of years have not been too great for me. It has made me a little bit disinterested in the game at times. It absolutely has. When your team is good, you're definitely more into it. And that's kind of what I've seen in my content. And as well as that too, um, in my overall enjoyment of the game since this season started. Because the Flyers have been better. The Coyotes, for the most part, were better this season. So, it was a lot more enjoyable to watch. However, when your teams are bad, it does make sense that you're like, eh. Would I rather put on the Flyers game and watch them lose? Or would I rather put on, say, the Sixers game or, you know, like Law & Order or something like that? And I don't, I don't know Law & Order. But say you see a different TV show on or a different sports game and you're like, hey, why would I watch the struggling Flyers over that? So it makes a lot of sense. Um, and that's something that, too, it gets into a whole other conversation where you're talking about casual hockey fans and fans who only watch when their team is good and all that. I know that's definitely a factor with that reasoning, uh, but definitely that does make some fans stop watching hockey, more specifically Sabres fans, but sorry. Anyways, uh, TV restrictions is probably the second biggest one that I do see, and that could arguably be the biggest one. Uh, TV restrictions for the NHL are ridiculous. Now, I use illegal sites, and that might be the reason why TV numbers are down, because of the use of illegal sites. Um, that's that's easier. It's, it's so much easier to, for, per se, pull up your laptop, pull up the game on an illegal site, and boom, watch it for free. No worries. No trouble there. As long as you have an ad blocker and you don't get a virus, boom, you're perfectly fine. You're set up. Um, so I understand why a lot of fans definitely tend to do that, and that's why the NHL TV numbers are down. But for some of the fans who can't do that, um, it definitely does put a... Um, thorn in your plans for sure. And um, the thing is too, is that like, you'll be in one section, you'll be in like, let's say, you know, you'll be in PA trying to watch the Flyers play the Penguins. And you're in that, you're in that kind of the gray area of Pennsylvania where you're like in the middle of PA and you can't watch the Flyers game because you're in the local area and it's blacked out, but you can't watch the Penguins game because you're also in the local area and it's blacked out. And as well as that too, you try and watch a team that not only is not in your state, but on the other side of the country, like let's say I'm trying to watch Calgary. I don't know why I'm wearing Calgary. It was just a random jersey I picked. But let's say you're trying to watch the Flames from, from where I am and it gets blocked. Like that's just something that happens with the NHL TV just bl blackouts. And it's just ridiculous how that is the how that is the way the TV restrictions are. And I understand that too. A lot of people are not going to pay um, such and such money for this full cable service. I know I'm not. I'm watching illegal sites to watch all my NHL games. So that is why. And I'm, I, and I'm not a victim of that. I'm going to say that, yeah, I am watching um, illegal sites. I am watching it on illegal sites. Um, I will be openly admitting to that. Um, and I know there's a lot of fans who have, and that's why the TV numbers are down from previous years. That's why illegal sites. Um, and again, why would you pay money for a, why would you pay $20 a month for a streaming service to watch your team rather than you could just pull it up on your computer or even your TV and watch it that way. So that's why fans tend to go to the illegal sites. I know a lot of people who do it. So it makes a lot of sense. The other one, and this one I've been a little bit, I've noticed a, I've noticed it's increased a lot is the gambling and the the overall betting aspect of the NHL. That has definitely increased over the last couple of years. And it's weird too cuz you have fans or you have fans, you have players, you even have some staff members who have come out to have gambling addictions to file for bankruptcy like Evander Kane's the biggest example of that. He came out and filed for bankruptcy mainly because of gambling. Like 
I don't understand how you see something like that happen. And as issue too, Shane Pinto. Pinto gets suspended for 50 games because of a gambling issue. Yet, you promote the hell out of gambling and you see him wearing a gambling logo on his helmet. Like, it's just weird to me how they will do things like that where they cut down on their own players doing it, which it, it makes sense. I understand that. And you see a lot of the players going bankrupt and such and such for this. But you have the NHL just promoting it everywhere they can. Like, you pull up an NHL game. I'm going to watch some hockey tonight. You pull up a hockey game, you're going to see at least five to six betting ads. You are. And whether it's BetMGM, FanDuel Sportsbook, anything like that, it's a problem. And that is why some fans do tend to be like, eh, I don't really want to watch the game anymore. But that that one, I think, is an issue that does need to be fixed. Um, the other ones um, are definitely ones that are subject to certain people. Um, the, the, the one that kind of sums all the ones up that I'm about to say is that the NHL is rigged. Um, I mean, I can understand that. Um, I've actually seen a lot of complaints lately about the Elton uh, Hour Circumvention from the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, that is in the rule book. Um, so if you want to complain about that, that is in the rule book. They can do that. Um, that does make some fans be like, ah, seeing the same team win every year might, might, might not might make them disinterested, which makes a lot of sense. Um, definitely the NHL is rigged. Some people may say that like Chicago getting the first overall pick, the NHL is rigged. I know whoever gets the first overall pick this year, the NHL is going to be rigged. Whoever wins the Stanley cup, the NHL is going to be rigged. Whoever makes the playoffs, the NHL is going to be rigged. So that is kind of an argument that I guess you could argue that as your reason why you stop watching hockey. But then again, um, you could just say the NHL is rigged for pretty much anything. Like you could, your team could lose a game and you're like, the NHL's rigged. Your team could win a game and be like, the NHL's rigged. It just, it just doesn't, you, you can't win in that battle. Um, the other thing I've seen is player safety and consistency. And I do kind of agree with this on some level. I have been seeing this a lot recently. You'll see a player in Matt Rempe get suspended four games for a illegal check to the head. Then you'll see another player get suspended like one to no games for pretty much a similar check to the head. It just really doesn't make any sense uh, with some of the inconsistencies you see uh, from player safety. And I get that. I totally get that. I mean, like, it's hard to be consistent with player safety because you're you're definitely factoring in, like, oh, is this player a rookie? Is this player well-known? Is this player have previous offenses? It makes a lot of sense. But then again, it's kind of weird that, like, there has been some wild inconsistencies. And that's definitely something that um, the NHL uh, and fans definitely may stop watching hockey for, for sure. Uh, no fights. That's the biggest thing. I've seen a lot of fans um, get unattractive from the fights. And more more specific to me, because I know a lot of people in my family. Like, I'm a hockey fan. There's people in my family who are hockey fans. But there are also people in my family who are not. So, it's kind of the thing, too. Like, when I, when I talk to people about, about hockey, like, when I go and talk to just a random person about hockey, a lot of the things they'll bring up is the fights. And there is not a whole lot of fights anymore. Now, there are players who are fighting, for sure, still. Ryan Reeves, Matt Rempe. There's names that I can list off that are guys who fight. However, the game isn't what it used to be back in the 70s and 80s where there was just tons of fighting. It's just not the way, not that way anymore. And part of it is, too, is the NHL is trying to kind of push that out of their game. Not necessarily, but kind of try to, you know... I don't know if exiling it out of the game is the right word, but definitely they've cut down on it a little bit. You don't see a lot of fights in their promotion videos. You don't you don't see fights in there. You see plenty of hits, but not a whole lot of fights. Um, and I think a lot of it too is that you see a lot of players like Chris Simon just died today at 52 years old. 52 years old. Uh, you have players playing until they're 52 years old. He was an enforcer. He fought a lot. And that can just run you down at an age and you could die much earlier than other people. And that's why I'm worried for some of the guys like Matt Rempe. So on a level, I understand it. But as well as that too, a lot of people do watch the game for the fights. Um, they, they do watch the games to watch people beat the crap out of each other. That was what they watched in the 80s. But it's not. that's not the way the game is anymore. Um, speaking of which, the game is evolving. Um, as I, That kind of correlates with no fights. Uh, there were scoring, there were errors that were, there were really high scoring. There's errors that were really low scoring. There was fighting and grit errors as well in the NHL. I'd say we're in an era now where we're seeing a little bit of all of it. Um, I'd say a lot, a lot more scoring than usual. Uh, scoring numbers are higher than usual. So it looks like the scoring is getting a lot higher. Um, but yeah, the game is evolving and that may see people just be like, eh, it wasn't like how it was back when I was a kid where there were fights and plenty of scoring. Now it's just not a lot of fights and pretty mediocre scoring. That's why they're not interested. 
So that can make a lot of sense. Or even too, like there are some fans that just lose interest. I understand. I completely understand that. There are fans that just like, eh, just this. I just not interested in watching this anymore. I'd rather watch such and such or you know NBA or NFL or something like that for sure. Um, but definitely that's something that happens too. Another thing that I'm thinking about on the spot here is marketing. The NHL has a massive marketing problem um, that you see all these teams doing these different marketing correlations and marketing strategies. The NHL doesn't do a whole lot of that. Um, they market things, sure, but there have been times where like the stadium series or even like the All-Star games will be on and people just won't care. People just won't know what's even going on. So that's something too um, that definitely is affecting um, what you see in, you know, the marketing, but for sure, there's definitely things I need to work on, but yeah, those are some reasons why fans may stop watching hockey. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you guys agree with these reasons, if there's other reasons that I did not, did not mention, let me know in the comments below. I thought it'd be a cool idea because I've had this in my drafts for a while, but never had the chance to do it because of the deadline and stuff, but I had a chance here today. So regardless, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, sorry, make sure to like, subscribe down below. I would greatly appreciate it. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.